This is Look Into This One Summer by Jillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. This is about two girls. You can see their bodies here. They're like middle school, obviously not fully developed yet. It's about their summer vacation where they go hang out. Um, it shows a caring mother. She's braiding her daughter's hair, talking about how she was a little baby. And then she's at the beach with her friend. It says, this girl in my dance class is 10 and she's like a D cup, maybe a G, like bashing in the face when she runs. My mom's a B, I'll probably be a B too. Do you all, do all your friends have boobs? So it talks about your mom's boobs. The problem with being adopted is I have no idea how big my boobs are gonna be. Breast, haha, uh -huh, breast. Breast, tits, bazoombas, shake, shake, shake. Woo, just look at my sexy tatas. This is a public beach, girls. Oh, sorry. You're gonna get us in trouble, you know? So, they're getting things underage. I don't remember what was wrong on this page. So there's a little language in here. Since uh, when do you get to call me a slut, asshole? You, since when am I an asshole, slut? And he picks her up, slaps her ass. Talks about them being drunk. He's a slut, no one. And their mom talks about not using that language. Here's discussion about watching things like Sex in the City. Um... They're listening to girls talk about, well, she's had like three almost babies and she's like 15, you know, like no period. So sperm can live for like three weeks in your stomach, you know, and then it gets cut off. Oh shit. Like I would say that fucking gross. Haha. -ha. Nice one, Jenny. Get that jerky shit out of here. It's Jenny's man, chill out. So a lot of language, a lot of sexual references. Look, it's covered in turkey jerk off. These are fucking sesame seeds. Uh, so you say, man, my aunt used to suck on that stuff all day. That's why she had triplets, man. Hormones. Shut up. So they rent a rated R movie. So it does say here they're about 15. So they're watching the movie. Let's see. Okay, but OBS, like when I say six, I'm not including blowjobs. Haha. -ha. Who's all blowjobs with the kids now, Sarah? Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Blowjobs? Like they don't know what a blowjob is. It's oral sex, kids. Oh my god. They totally weren't expecting us to rent this, right? It's like X-rated. Hello, that's porn. Porn is X. Violence and all that other stuff is R. Oh yeah. Where's your mom? Swimming with me. So now they're watching this rated R movie. And it says, uh, oral is when you do stuff with your mouth, right? On a guy? That's so gross. I don't think you have to do that if you don't want to. I bet a lot of people do. I guess I would do it if I was really in love with someone. I think even if I were in love, I wouldn't do that. You might, it could be a peer pressure thing, I guess, but yeah, I don't think so. Let's see here, watching it again. You're addicted like it's crack cocaine. So they go to kind of a junk spot and they're talking about getting herpes. You can't get herpes from a flip flop. Well, I think maybe you can. Um, she's talking about her mom. Okay, so this is what it introduces that the girl's mom wants to have another baby, wasn't able to have another baby. Um, you 
you want to learn the stuff that I learned at Gaia camp, the lesbian camp, they weren't all lesbians. Um, okay, so now there's a, there's a teen pregnancy. You know that Sarah's sister got pregnant bumping uglies with Charlie Potter down by the creek two years ago? My uncle said it's because they buried medicine. Okay, your uncle smokes crack. Who said it was down by the creek? So now they're talking about the teen pregnancy. Maybe it's not him. He should call her, though. I wonder if they do DNA tests there. Yeah, because it's so small, right? They probably don't have a lab. I wonder where they do rape kits then. I'm not sure they can send it to the city or something. Wait, rape kits? That's not what they do for babies. That's for rape. Oh, I know. Well, it's different. I don't think the dud could afford a DNA test. The dud is the baby's father. Plus, I bet you it's his, though. Maybe it's not. Why don't you think he wants to call her? So now here's the, the teen that got pregnant, and she's giving a tour at this educational, it's like a, a little village. And they go up and she says, this is the last part of the museum tour. Does anyone have any other questions? And because she was just found out she's pregnant, they said, what did they use for birth control? And she says, excuse me. And he says, I said, what did they use for birth control? Like fucking condoms made from squirrel skin or something? Fucking asshole. Or just the tails, right, Jenny? So when it talks about, you know, she runs off and she's sad about it, obviously. So the guy giving them, uh, this is the cashier, he's got a shirt that's FBI, the federal booby inspector. you don't like that girl Jenny how come you don't like her now it's like it's like you have something against her because she's pregnant I don't not like her I just think I just think it's stupid that girls can't like take care of their stuff and then everything's fucked up maybe she deserves it okay okay but it's just Wendy all the girls here are sluts so then she comes in the girl that got pregnant, she said, she comes into the store and they're like, you don't think she's lying or whatever. Man, I don't know, just fuck. She wants me to go with her to the doctor like I'm already the fucking dad. So, fuck this. I'm on your side, don't let her pressure you. So, then it kind of says she's maybe got a crush on him. He's like 18 and that's perverted. Fuck you, you asshole. You're so fucking cool. You're nothing but a douchebag with a penis. Ha ha ha. She throws a can at him. Can you get her out of there? Grow the fuck up, Duncan. You can just man up and deal with your shit. You're telling me what to do? That's hilarious. Okay, so there's another part in here I just skipped over. So the mom in the story is very depressed. Um, I didn't tag it as I was reading it because it just didn't seem inappropriate necessarily. But the mom is very depressed. The dad is trying to console her. The mom won't go swimming or enjoy any part of being there. The So they're fighting. Um, the mom was trying to have a baby. It sounds like she had IVF and they weren't able to have a baby. So she's very depressed and the dad's trying to help, but it's not going well. They have the aunt and uncle come up and try to console her. She's not doing well. So now here they're at the beach and they're having s'mores. The girl, she goes, her hands are sticky. She decides to go to the water to wash them off. 
and she looks out and there's a girl drowning and it's the girl that was pregnant. And so she gasps. Now the little girl's mom, she runs out, she runs into the water, saves the girl from drowning. So now they're talking about it afterwards and she's saying that was the first time she had gone back to the water. Um, because it says, I had been in the water since last year. I miscarried and lost a baby. I was swimming and I felt the baby let go. And she says, oh, I didn't know. There was a reference earlier, the little girl, her friend thought her mom tried to drown herself, but that wasn't the case, it was a miscarriage. So here's blood on her fingers as she realizes that she's just miscarried in the water. You read articles that it's a natural thing. Well, Mother, teach, Mother Nature isn't always the nicest person in the world. She's a bitch. Yep, she's a bitch sometimes. So, so she was six weeks, you know, we only had just found out, we didn't tell Rose. You know, when it shows like the dad's trying to console her. So pretty heavy content, the end. There's a lot of the girls are talking about, you know, I hope, you know, next time when I see you we'll have big boobs. Maybe I will have massive boobs. The end of the summer boobs would be cool. I believe this is around a level three reading level. This is young adult and it is recommended on the reading list for ninth grade. Would you recommend this for your ninth grader or high schooler? Leave comments below.